this is what happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it. That's what a virus looks like. Sean, your computer's filthy. It's full of virus. So what do you do? Wow, why is it so dark? Catch up. Alright, um, yeah, you make a boxy brown from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, right? Right. Is that a boxy brown? Homer says, Lighty, where's my dinner? It's 8 o'clock, Lighty. <laughs> Well, I know some people are going to say, that looks like poop, but it's actually some fake meat, fake beef. And you know what the definition of fake beef is? A lie so often told that even you believe it. So, I don't know how that relates to the fake beef in the pan, but Homer wants his real food. What are you going to have, Homer? <laughs> Do you love him? Yes. Oh, he's a good boy, isn't he? Yes, he is. Pat. Yeah, pat his butt. My husband scored me a hot magazine the other day. It's oh, called so La Cucina so. Italiana. Uh, I can't wait to see all the recipes in here because they have a lot of ravioli recipes. I know, Homer, they're the best, right? Yeah, so I'm going to check that out. All right, kids, it's dinner time. My husband makes the best mashed potatoes ever. That's his job. Plus, peas. I love peas. Eh, baked beans. There's the fake beef, the final product. And you gotta have the vegetables because we are vegetarian. Well, I am. <laughs> hey guys, it's Saturday. Um, yeah, we're on our way to shop right. Honey, I wish you could look up my nose and tell me if there's anything up there. Use your camera. I, cause the viewfinder thing is on the other side. So, have you ever asked your spouse or significant other or boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever, to look up your nose and check and see if there's anything amiss? <laughs> Leave it in the comments. Yeah, come on, it's perfectly natural to ask something like that. Alright, so like I said, we're on our way to ShopRite. And we gotta pick up something for dinner, honey. I'm, like, at a standstill on, like, cooking right now. What should we make for dinner? I'm gonna leave it up to you guys, but I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to guess what it is. I vote for, um, like, taco, kind of like TVP fake taco with delicious sour cream and Wonderful. cheese. Wonderful. it. Well, do you have any suggestions? No, I was gonna say the same thing. You're such a liar. See, honey, now you ruined the whole premise here. You were supposed to say, like, breakfast dinner or something. Breakfast dinner. <laughs> and then you guys could guess, and you could see if you were right, because I would show it in tomorrow's vlog. Or, if you come to the live show tonight, I'd actually tell you which one it was. But you still have to watch the vlog tomorrow. Alright, another thing that I need to take care of here. I bought this gum the other day. The Trident Vitality Awaken. Why, it's a peppy peppermint with a dash of ginseng. So, I tried it out at work yesterday. I have some in my mouth right now, see? And my husband, I just gave him a piece for the first time. And I have to say that I'm gonna pass on this one. Because, um, first of all, it comes in a little tablet. And it has like a squishy inside. That's a big turn off for me. I like a stick of gum. I thought it was actually a stick of gum when I saw the package because I thought, you know, it's got sticks of gum in there. And my arm is dying. Let me switch arms. It doesn't, it makes a tiny piece of gum in your mouth and I like a big piece of gum. I'm all about the size of the gum, sorry. I have, I admit it. Um, I'm, I, I don't like it as much as the, what's that one that we usually chew? Yeah. It's in, it comes in the black box. I can't think of the name of it, and it's like gray colored, but it's like really good. Um, when I figure it out, oh wait, I have a, I think I have another one in my pocket. Still, because I was chewing that when it worked too. Oh yes, it's uh, React. In the, um, probably can't see it because it's probably not focusing right. React from who knows? It's got a five on the side. Do you know who makes that? Probably like Probably Trident Wrigley's. or something. Oh, Wrigley's? I thought. I don't know. Well, it's best by March 12th of 012. Oh, there is no 012. It's just 12. <laughs> so what is your opinion on the gum? Do you like it? It's alright. 
It's all right, but what do you think about React? It lasts long. It does last a long time, any of the flavors of React. So, you know, I just wanted to try it because it had ginseng and, you know, it's not looking for extra energy unless you want to go to sleep, so. All right, so we're almost at ShopRite, so I guess we'll check back in later. All right, guys, so we're back at home, and I thought I'd just quickly show you. I put some of my nutcrackers in the um, cabinet here. There's quite a varied uh, lot of them. My favorite, I'm going to have to say, is the lumberjack guy in the middle on the bottom there. You see him? He's got a squirrel on his arm, and he's got a whole bunch of sticks and his giant beard and his furry hat. He's got like a buffalo plaid jacket on. My second favorite is the one that we got this year, the Herr Drosselmeyer in his uh, smoking jacket and sleeping cap. Pretty cool. Some of these little ones are pretty interesting too. Uh, I think one uh, Coupon Queen got me some of these in the past. They came in like a little uh, multi-pack. You know, a little toy maker one. Got some unusual ones, a duck. There's another Herr Drosselmeyer uh, dressed up like a magician and a monkey. And up there, uh, my dad and mom got me that one. It's the Queen of Hearts from um, Alice in Wonderland. Yes, thank you. So, yeah, I'll let you look at these while I explain what's going on. <laughs> we have a possibility of two different dinners for tonight. It's either going to be uh, taco night or it's going to be breakfast dinner. So we got the ingredients at ShopRite tonight. You guys vote. You'll see it in the um, blog tomorrow, what it was. And if you come to the live show tonight, we'll tell you what it was. So, ooh, I like that one. I just noticed that one. He looks kind of like uh, Henry VIII, kind of. Um, yeah, and this goofy toy maker guy. And that one up there is actually from Germany, the one in the green. So, yeah, enjoy the nutcrackers. Vote, come to the live show, and I guess we'll see you tomorrow or tonight. Till then, much love.